Hi everyone, let's talk about symmetry in Pascal's triangle. First, we're going to draw Pascal's triangle, a few rows of it. So we start with the row 0, we have 1 here, then we have 1, 1, then we have 1, 2, 1, then we have 1, 3, 3, 1, we've got 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, and just one more row, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. So as you probably noticed here, we've got a symmetry going from left to right or right to left. Because we have corresponding terms, like this 5 corresponds to this 5, the 10 here corresponds to this 10, the 4 here corresponds to this 4, and the middle terms are just symmetric by themselves. We have the 3 corresponding to this 3 and so on. So the question is, what does this mean in terms of algebra? So the algebra, it, because we know that in the nth row, starting with row 0, nth row uh, kth entry, from the left, where the leftmost entry is the zeroth entry, is equal to n choose k. So this symmetry would imply that n choose k is equal to n choose n minus k. And we're going to prove that now. In terms of algebra, it's quite easy to prove. Uh, it doesn't take much because we know what the binomial coefficients are in terms of vectorials. So we have n choose k is equal to n factorial choose n factorial divided by k factorial divided by n minus k factorial. And we have n choose n minus k is equal to n factorial divided by n minus k factorial divided divided by n minus n minus k factorial and that's just equal to n factorial divided by n minus k factorial and we have k factorial here after simplifying so this and this they are equal so that algebraically proves the identity but it's a little bit devoid of insight. We'd like to understand the meaning of it. If we can find a combinatorial proof, that'd be better. So let's write out the identity again. We have n choose k is equal to n choose n minus k. So let's think about this in terms of committees. The, the proof in terms of committees goes like this. Let's say we have n objects. So we've got one, two, three, four, let's say five objects. And we want to pick three of them. So picking three of them might look something like this, the ones in the pink boxes. And there are n choose k ways of doing it. But notice that picking these three is exactly the same as excluding two of them. So that tells us that this, the exact same um, choice function is given by n choose n minus k. So this is a combinatorial proof. It proves that choosing k things is the same as excluding n minus k things. It's the same number of ways of doing both. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.